You're watching Inside the Islanders. I'm George Matthews. Guesting with me, the head coach off the Islanders, Gordy Dwyer. His team off to the mainland this weekend with games Friday night against the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. Sunday afternoon in St. John against the Sea Dogs. But, Gordy, before we talk about these upcoming games this weekend, uh, we look back a week, a lot going on with your hockey club. You open up with the season opening games against Halifax and Cape Breton. Let's look at those two games. Firstly, in the win against Halifax, the, of course, defending Memorial Cup champions, a 5-2 win there. Seven individual players with multi-point games you got to like that you know what it's a great way to start the season uh, we knew with Halifax coming in Memorial Cup champs and uh, we knew that we'd be missing some guys in our lineup as well with guys at NHL camps and especially in the goaltending position but uh, you know the guys battled hard we had a great crowd on hand there was a lot of excitement in the air with the rebrand and everybody involved and great opening ceremonies so you know we were able to feed off that and play a solid 60 minutes and you know credit to our to our goaltender who started that night too Daryl McCollum who's a local guy here from Charlottetown and uh, you know what he, he performed very well and so did the rest of the team. You talk about McCollum in that opening game as well of course and the win over Cape Breton in the shootout Antoine Bibault returns from Leafs camp he was outstanding. You know what, yeah, game two with uh, with Bibbs coming back, it really gave our team that boost that we needed going into the game two. And, uh, you know, Cape Breton came in. They played a really good game in the second game. I thought that they, uh, you know, we got into some penalty trouble a little bit early on. We'll have to work on, on on understanding the standard, I think, for a lot of the new players coming into the league. But uh, Bibbs came in, and he did exactly what we expect him to be. He was a solid number one goaltender. He was the first star of the hockey game, and he gave us a chance to win. We talk about the scoring in game one, Bebo in game number two. You talk about as well the discipline or lack thereof in game number two. What do you take uh, as well from that weekend? You know, at four points, you know, there were there were two big games here at home. Uh, you know, we wanted to get out of the gate with a good start, and I think that the four points is what we really take from the weekend. Uh, there's a lot to work on this time of year with systems and uh, roles for different players and understanding what how we our expectations and how we want to play as a team. But... We have our team moving forward this week, and all the guys are returning from the National Hockey League camps, and uh, you know we're excited about the start we had, and we're going to build off that. And building on those four players coming back from camp, we've talked about Bebol. His uh, his numbers were outstanding last season in the queue. He was number two in save percentage and goals against average as well. Now you add a youngster, Eric Broussard, and your goaltending certainly has strengthened this hockey club. Yeah, it's, it is a position of strength for us, and you know we, we feel that Antoine's ready to really take over as a number one guy and, and be a top guy in the league. But last year, the environment that he grew in was it was with Maxim Legacy, who was another strong goaltender in the league. And Bibbs had a battle for the net every night. So with the addition of Eric, who was just returning from Tampa, I think that it's a it's a great combo. It's a it's a great one-two punch, and you know both guys are going to have to battle and, and play well to stay in the nets. But uh, I like that competitiveness between both players. Vance comes back from the Dallas. The Stars and of course Graves from the New York Rangers those two defensemen what do they add to your blue line well first thing that's going to step out is uh, the standout is their size they're both big body guys and uh, Troy Vance is six foot five Ryan Graves six foot four so again two big bodies that uh, that can play and you know they're both move their feet pretty well they're both guys that can skate we think that uh, Troy last year in the second half after joining our club was a real useful piece for us and and Dallas felt strongly about his development here and his continued development this season so he's going to be a big time player for us he's got an offensive upside to him he can shoot the puck real well and he can be physical so and Ryan Graves uh, you know it's his third year in the league so we're expecting him to to be able to take that next step as well he's a big body guy he can play physical he's a he's a good shutdown guy so the those two guys will certainly help the blue line. We talk about all that scoring in the opening game against Halifax, but scoring is always important for your hockey club. You like to add, if, if at all possible, Pavel Laplante. Uh, he comes back from uh, the Phoenix camp, third overall, uh, or rather the third round pick for the uh, Phoenix Coyotes in this offseason. He's a guy that's looking for a breakout year here. Yeah, Pav is. Uh, he came into training camp early, and you know was our most conditioned athlete. And you know that's that's saying a lot. He he missed the entire season last year. Well, well, 80% of it anyways with the shoulder injury. So. Uh, we feel that he's ready to break out. He was a, he was a third round pick in the National Hockey League. I know that uh, Phoenix is very excited about him, but we're excited about him here. He's going to continue his development. We expect him to be uh, a big time contributor offensively for us, but he's going to play in every situation. He's going to be on the penalty kill, be on the power play, five on five. He's going to be a guy that's hard to play against as well, and he's uh, you know he's um, he's going to be a key player for us this season for our success. Now, of course, this upcoming weekend, as we said, uh, Friday night in Cape Breton. You've already seen Cape Breton uh, beating them here in Charlottetown last weekend in the overtime shootout. What do you expect from the uh, Screaming Eagles here this weekend? 
Well, it's their home opener as well this Friday, so they're going to come out strong. And, you know, I thought that they played a very good game last game. I thought that they were, they were disciplined. I thought that they played a strong game on the road. Uh, you know, their power play, they were missing a few guys as well of their lineup, but I think there's a few guys returning this weekend as well. So, you know, the division's going to be very competitive, and I think every game is, you know, is a key game. So, you know, for us early in the season, it's about learning how to play consistently, about learning how to play in the system and, and, and playing that 60-minute effort. And, you know, uh, I think that's going to be key for us this weekend. It's two, two big tests, two big divisional tests for us uh, on the road, and, you know, we're going to continue to grow our program that way. And, of course, talking about the St. John uh, Sea Dogs, they're a team they're a franchise here in the last four years. Bit of a struggle last year, but prior to that, uh, back to back to back successful years here. They're a benchmark team here in the league. They are. You know what? They've got a uh, great culture in St. John, and you know they got a great head coach and who's been there for a while and general manager as well. And they're in the in what you call a rebuild, and uh, you know they're year two of that rebuild right now. And you know they've got some quality players, some real quality assets at a young age. And you know I think their team is uh, very similar to ours, where they've got some young players that are going to be key contributors to the hockey club. And you know we expect them to play well at home. They're you know they're they're in that second year. They've got some strong goaltending as well, so it's going to be a very competitive game. Gordy, good luck this weekend. Thanks, George. For Gordy Dwyer, I'm George Matthews. You've been watching Inside the Islanders.